Welcome to the final episode of the Road Trip Series. This is day five. Thank you all for following along on this journey, this trip across America. So no more delays. I give you the big reveal. Okay, so my apologies for kind of stringing you along all week, but I want to make this really fun. So now's the time for the big reveal. Why are we towing this trailer? What's in it? <clears throat> okay, so the big reveal is maybe maybe you recognize this guy from YouTube, from TV, from air shows. His name is Steve Henry. And one of the things that uh, the trailer you see behind us, we tour all across the country, is Steve's. So I'm gonna let Steve introduce himself and tell you guys what exactly he has plans for, for this new trailer. Yeah, I'm Steve Henry. I live in here in Nampa, Idaho. I'm with Wild West Aircraft. It's actually my wife and I, we've been selling the Just Aircraft Highlanders and Superstoles for eight or nine years now. I've been flying them longer than that. I bought my first kit about 15 years ago and built it and kind of fell in love with them. And uh, so eventually we decided to start selling them too. Um, I've always liked the off airport stole flying, the short. My, my real fun is finding the gnarliest little shortest steepest place that I think I can get away with landing and taking off and, and doing it. And some of them are pretty exciting. I've had my legs just shaking at times when I've landed in some of these places. But the trailer, we just we just got my new trailer, Brian and Brian, Brian <laughs> just brought just brought the, this trailer from Georgia. And what I, what I really have it for, I don't I don't normally haul my airplane. I mean, I've been flying these things to Alaska, to Oshkosh, I don't know how many times, and I never haul it anywhere. Coming up here in just the next little bit, there's the big stole competition in Texas. Uh, I think it's called Lone Star Stole Competition in Gainesville, Texas. That's March 14th. And from Idaho to Texas in the middle of March, I don't trust the weather. So that's why the trailer. And uh, yeah, so that's the first one, March 14th in Gainesville, Texas. Two weeks after that is Sun and Fun in Florida. So I'm, it's not worth driving home for. I'm just gonna take my time, take two weeks and have a good time going to Florida from Texas. It's a long drive. It is a long drive, but I won't be in any hurry for that part. And then a buddy's gonna fly down there and be there for the event to kind of help me, you know, with things and help with the driving home. And he's actually the same friend, Russ, is going with me to Texas too, but then he's flying home for that two weeks. Before my, my flying is more just having fun flying, I, I've been in quite a few stall competitions in that too, I guess, though. But anyway, the advantage is going to be I can have tools, I can have tires, I can have ladders, I can have all this stuff like I have in my hangar at the show. So any kind of problems, any kind of working on the airplane, um, stole drag versus stole, it's kind of a different setup. I can have the little tires for stole drag, my big tires for stole, and so it's gonna. There's some advantages of taking the trailer besides just the weather that I think I'm gonna enjoy. So I understand you took delivery of something uh, new in your shop just yesterday. And so what's in the what's in the wheelhouse of of Steve Henry right now? I did. I got a brand new Edge Performance Epex 300 turbocharged Yamaha, which I have one now in in Yeha 7. I've been flying it for 180 some hours. And I just love it. it. It's the most fun engine I've ever flown with. And it's been reliable. I mean, it hasn't let me down either. It's been, I feel good about flying with it. Besides, it's so fun that the way it just sets you back in the seat and climb 3,000 feet a minute and, you know, go from a dead stop to 115 miles an hour in about nine or 10 seconds. So you just took delivery of that and your hope is to get that up and running by the Lone Star competition. Yes, I'm hoping to, which is coming up pretty soon. What is today? February 17th, and I'm leaving March 10th. So, yeah, I, I got about three weeks. Plus, I got to do a little bit of stuff I want to do on this new trailer to get it a little better set up, but the airplane's first priority. Okay, so that's the big reveal, number one. I hope that was a, a big surprise to you guys. Okay, so on to the next big reveal. Okay, so Brian, number one. And I, of course, have been traveling the country the last couple of days, five days, six days to be exact, uh, to bring this trailer and then reveal number two here in a second. Brian works for Wingbug and is also a sponsor of the Experimental Aircraft Channel. 
and through all this uh, decided to extend to you, the viewer, the subscriber, the aviation enthusiast, a special offer for Wingbugs. I'm going to let him talk about that for just a second here. Well, I hope you enjoyed our travel across from Florida all the way up here to Nampa, Idaho. Uh, myself uh, and, and Alex at Aero Adventure, as well as Straight and Level, which is the company that brings you the wing bug, we're very proud to sponsor the Experimental Aircraft Channel and help Brian get out here and let him join us to come out and see what's going on out here with Steve and uh, the group out here. And we wanted to offer to anyone who has been following our travels the opportunity to go to our website starting tomorrow and lasting until March 1st and if you put in the word under coupon code experimental we're going to give you a 10% discount on your purchase of a wing bug anytime between now and the 1st of March so we hope that you'll take advantage of that again we hope you enjoyed our travels it's been a blast doing this and again we're very proud to be sponsoring the experimental aircraft channel move that door all right here we go here comes the big reveal we're going to have that open, yeah. Right, ready? Yep. Ta-da! Oh, yeah. We got a Kit Fox, Model 4 with a 912. That's the big reveal, everybody. I'm Kevin Palmer, and this is my third Kit Fox 4. Huge thanks to Brian and Brian for getting this thing out here. Now we got to go ahead and get it unloaded, get it onto my trailer so I can get it back to Nevada and start making it my own. So that's it, everybody. All along, it was a Kit Fox. Also, a big thanks to Steve Henry of Wild West Aircraft. If you ever need any Highlander or Apex stuff, he is your go-to guy. Come and see him anyways. <laughs> if you got any Dutch stuff, you need power, you need a Highlander, you need cool stuff, come see him. All right, so as, as Kevin mentioned, uh, he just took delivery of his third. So you're a, re a repeat offender. Yeah, I have a problem. I'm a little <laughs> addicted. Um, you, Aviators Anonymous meetings on Tuesday, 7 p.m. Kevin and I have been talking for, I don't know, almost a year. I, I saw him last year at Oshkosh in person, and he just got his pilot's license. What was the date you got your pilot's license? Uh, it was sometime in May, I think. Sometime in May of last year. And since then, this is number three. Kit Fox number three. Technically, one of them was actually bought and sold before I even had my license. Okay. So, so that was the first one. It was a two-stroke 582, and then I've had now two 912 four-stroke kit faxes. So, so obviously he has caught the bug for aviation big time and experimental. And um, so that's a, an awesome thing. So what, what, what are the plans for this one? You've got one flying right now. So what's the plans for that and then this one here? Well, the first thing this thing is going to go through is just an entire go through since an old plane that was built in the 90s by some dude in his garage. I'm going to go ahead and go through everything, freshen up anything that needs freshening, hoses, wiring, whatever it may be. Definitely going to get new wing tanks. It's had some ethanol in the wing tanks, which kind of soaked through and now the wing tanks leak. So I've got some fresh tanks to put in the wings so I have full fuel capacity. Um, once I do that, I've got a couple of other little surprises, but I'm going to go ahead and keep those under wrap for now. So what's the goal for getting this flying again? What, what's, what do you think the end game is to, to be flying? As far is as Osh date -wise? Is Oshkosh a little too early for that? Oh, we'll be flying well before Oshkosh. Well before Oshkosh. Yeah, so we might see probably, this. Yeah, there's a decent chance I'll be flying this one to Oshkosh. I haven't decided which plane I'm going to fly to Oshkosh just yet, but we this one will be flying well before then. Okay. I think about what it's February. I'd give me a month or two on this thing. I'm hoping we'll have fresh wing tanks, a fresh panel. Awesome. He's good to go. Well, if you haven't found out um, his, his channel online, he has his own YouTube channel. So follow uh, Kevin's channel. At what, what is your channel again? It's uh, K Palm Air. I haven't been really doing much editing, but I'll tell you what. If you guys get me to 1,000 subscribers, I will go ahead and start actually editing stuff. I've got a ton of cool footage from all of my different Kit Fox adventures. I've just been so busy with my starting my new business that I haven't had any time to pay attention to YouTube. But do go ahead and follow me. There's a link right there at K Palm Air, and I'd appreciate the subscribe. Sounds good. Well, thank you everybody for following along this past week, five, six days. This has been the big reveal, the, the big uh, the hold off here. So um, thanks for following. Remember to subscribe here and follow along for future episodes here at Wild West Aircraft. Alex put some nice fresh ones on it for me, but they are pretty small. Oops, sorry. 
Hey, yeah, don't be dinging up the new trailer. <laughs> I know, I wasn't even thinking. I'm so used to our old junk, I don't even think about it. So, I'm going to record here real quick. So, Kevin, have you decided on a name for this? Because we talked maybe about Florida Fox, or have you thought about that anymore? So, there is a name in the works, but it's also going to be kept under wraps until ah. I get everything done and it comes out. It will be very apparent once the paint scheme has, because I'm going to do a little work to the wings. I might change the colors a little bit. So, another big reveal tuned. coming, huh? Yeah. You guys are so secrety. It's all part of the show. I think when I put my airplane in here, I'm gonna have to take off the prop to clear. Pretty sure I do. Oh yeah, you got a four blade on yours, don't you? Yeah. And, and if I'm on the big tires, it's, it's high, yeah, it's you're tall. Gonna be pretty tall. So how many miles was this, Brian? I think we ended up about 2,900-ish. 2,900, 2,900 miles. One way, and by the way, we gotta go back. Uh, yeah, we do, yeah, that's right. We yes. have to back home. But this plane made it 2,400 miles from from Florida, Central Florida, to Napa, Idaho. And it never got over 70. Right. Yeah, that's what I was wondering because the wing. So far, we're doing all right. If you are finding value in this video hit the like button and it's really important that you subscribe as it helps me get sponsors like Airworks, Aero Adventure, Wingbug, and Grip Lock Ties. And right now, Grip Lock Ties has a promo for you to get free shipping. Just enter the code EXPERIMENTAL at checkout. Let's jump back in. We might have to do it all from the front. Okay, now watch the cables. Good. You're clear. Yeah, you're clear there. Clear cable this side. Boy, that's smooth. Oh, hold on. You got the face over there? Yeah, I'm a little uh, off center. All right, tail wheels at the bump. Coming up, and it's ready to drop down. Okay, watch out. Don't go any further unless we have to. Uh-uh, I'm stopping. We're good. Hey everyone, also be on the lookout for a future episode for Wild West Aircraft, entirely about Wild West Aircraft and the Highlander and how that's built, how that's made, Steve's shop and, and the Edge Performance Yamaha engine. So keep an eye out for that, future episodes coming.